What's up everyone? Uh, I'm out here doing some testing today. Figure I'd make a video, get some questions on this periodically. Uh, basically what I'm going to show you is how to set, not control points, I'd like to call them checkpoints because I wouldn't classify these as control, but uh, you know if you're out doing an, your own pond job or uh, you know laying out something for yourself that's not engineered and you want to set some points that you can come localize to or check back against, this is a good way to do it. <laughs> once again like everything in all these videos this is the way i do it there's other ways to do things but this works for me so i'm going to show you here on top on pocket 3d uh, how to do that so basically i've got just a new program started here uh, nothing special call it whatever you want i've got a base set up over there by my truck on a tripod that just is an unknown position just running you can set a pole you can set it up on a control point well, you know, if you whatever information you have, but for what I'm talking about, if we're just out in the middle of nowhere, we're gonna go ahead and set our own little network so we can uh, utilize it for for uh, doing topos and, and building a design if needed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set some points in state plane, and then I can run in, in state plane coordinates, and, you know, known projection, or I can come back and localize to it, whatever works. So I'm gonna show you how to localize back to it. This is the way I like to do it. So. First thing I'm gonna check real quick. Oops, let's make sure. Yeah, control points in five seconds. I'm not doing this by the book here, guys, you know, when it comes to shooting points, but we're gonna get the general idea. So if I go to my control and go into options, you see I got these options. I got another video on this, I believe. But uh, typically we're using this GPS localized on our engineer jobs. We're gonna use this known projection datum. So see how I've got information in here. If you didn't have that, you go into projection and you're going to select i typically use for this i use usa spc 83 there's lots of other ways you can do this you use utm and so on and so forth if you're not trying to match up anybody pick what works best for you and use that you know uh, we could spend a lot of time talking about projections and stuff but keep it simple so use the geoid i don't typically use that if you want to use that you're going to, have to download these gff files you can get them from uh Oh, the government website. I can't think of the name of it now, but they're out there. They're pretty easy to get. Um, I, like I said, I typically don't use them, but you have to load those into the geodata on your on your data collector. Um, so we want to use known projection data, okay? So you can see my rover's connected because my base is broadcasting. I now have an elevation. I now have a position. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and go survey, measure points, control point. We're going to call this just point one, CP1, whatever you want to call it. Just take a measurement here. I typically shoot mine for 60 seconds. Everyone can do it however they want. I've knocked it down just for the purposes of this video. So you can see now I've got CP1 in there. Um, I'm not going to do a ton of points here just because I think you'll get it after one or two. But... That one was a nail. I think this one I just did a random. Yeah, it's just a random paint point. And like everything, this process is as good as the time you put into it. You know, when I do my stuff, if I want to get real precise, I use rebar and caps, you know, but however you want to do it for your points, that's up to you. But like I said, the results you're going to get are direct correlation of how much effort you put into setting it up so once again we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna do measure point control point so call this one two to keep it simple hit start okay let's do one more why not sorry for all the shakiness I think I got one more out here or somewhere Ah, come on. Sorry. New tripod is a little stiff to run with one hand. But I'll take it. Alright. So then we're just going to do the same thing here, measure points, control point, we'll just call this, oops, call it three, Hit start.
Okay, so now I've got some control points. Now, if I had uh, my base set up, I could set up on one of these control points and run off state plane, or I could have it on a pole. I could shoot the pole as a control point, vice versa, to run my base. Or a lot of times what I do for my customers that are running, you know, if we're setting up and they're gonna run machine control, I just go ahead and localize to them just because it's a process that they're used to, and then they can run their base, you know, like they're, like they're used to running. So now if we just come back in here to our options we should switch back over to gps localize so now we can come in here to control points select three it's like gps okay now we can measure three so you can see this is just like our normal process now doing a localization so since we came this far let's go do the other two Get some steps in for the day here. Uh, I've only got three points, so we won't. Get that. I'm telling you, if you uh, take your time and set this up right, everything will come in real nice. Uh, especially for most of the jobs you're doing, if you're out building ponds or this is real great for terrace waterways. Um, like I said the steps I'm doing is a little overkill. There is other ways to do this that is faster, yada, yada, yada. But this way ensures that you can come back and verify the things that you did are correct. And that's a nice feeling. So, round point one, we're shooting it. Okay. I'll go back over here, just because why not? Try to get this one on. Like I said, these are just paint marks, so I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm not getting this thing perfectly level each time, but once again, this can come out really great if you spend the extra 10 minutes to, you know, make some good, uh, good marks and, and level your pole up and take good shots. So. Should get some horizontals after this. So you can see there, even with my uh, half assness, came in all right there. So now I've got a localized site with three points. I can go do a topo, or uh, you know, most of the time I'm doing a topo, and then when I <coughs> create my line work and surface and stuff, just using this calibration to bring it back in. And it's just a really easy way to uh, verify it when you're doing something on your own that you've got. Now you've got, once again, I call them checkpoints. I don't like to call them control points. I'm not a surveyor here. I'm not an engineer. Um, but this is a way that you can help do a little quality control and make your life easier when it comes to building projects that don't always uh, have an engineer involved. So hope that helps, guys. Uh, if you got any questions, as always, um, drop us a comment please like and subscribe it helps and then uh yeah if you got any questions go to myconstructiontechnology.com all of our contact information is on there uh, if there's anything else that you guys want to know that may help make life a little easier let me know i know i'm really inconsistent at getting these done but uh winter's coming i'll have a little more free time on my hands so uh be happy to help in any way we can have a good one